Where am I supposed to be at? Up here, here in, no, in front of the table. Okay, we're gonna have you right here. Y'all, this is Austin. How are, you, how are you guys doing? Hi. This is his lovely good, wife, Ashley. Good. Good. Where do y'all want me at? Right there, it's gonna be fine. Right here, good. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Am I on the way? I'm here. No, okay. you are not. Y'all be gentle. Oh, yeah. Y'all ready? Yep. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. Tell us about your injury. Well, um, it's been. Um, all my injuries combined, I had a left leg amputated above the knee, right leg severely injured with um, a lot of hardware and a lot of bone reconstruction, and uh, my spleen has been taken out as well. So that's the, that was, I think, all the main injuries. Of course, there were a lot of bones broken. I don't know how many, but uh, it was quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, talk about the recovery. How's that been? It's been, it's been rough. Um, there's been a lot to, to get through. Um, I'm feeling better, thankfully. Praise the Lord. He's been very, very gracious in my healing. But uh, it's been very difficult. There's been some hard days, uh, a lot of work to try to get strength back in my legs, both sides, um, trying to learn how to use a prosthesis has been a new experience for sure. Um, and it's, it's taken a lot. Um, uh, I'm very thankful to be where I am at this point in recovery. Um, but it's been a very, very rough road. Um, uh, could have been a lot worse, so I'm thankful that it wasn't. Um, but it's been, it's been hard, but there have been good days and bad days. You know, some days I feel great and I go to rehab and, and it, everything goes well. And some days you feel the pain come back and uh, you get home and you're just hurting for the rest of the day. And um, so there are good days and bad days, but I'm very thankful to be where I'm at. Do you expect to come back to work? I absolutely. I can't wait. I'm ready as soon as I can. So. Any idea when that would be? No, ma'am. Uh, I wish I had an idea of when that would be. It's kind of going to depend on how strong I can get, how fast I can get there. You know, there's a lot of uh, to <laughs> tomorrow if I could. That'd be great. Uh, uh, that'd be great. But, you know, it's it's a matter of learning how to use the prosthesis is a big thing right now. Um, getting the strength back in my legs, getting the strength back to be able to do the job. Um, so there could be it could be several months, could be sooner. I'm hoping for sooner. But, you know, that's kind of dependent on myself and the doctors and how quick I can get there. Talk about this lovely lady here. It looks like y'all might be uh, expected. We are. Uh, you know, we are actually a month from today. Uh, we're expecting our first child, our son Truett, will be born uh, July 3rd. Uh, we're very excited about that. She's been uh, my rock through this whole thing. Um, I wouldn't be able to have been making it through some of these days without her. So, very thankful for her and all the help she's been around the house and just getting me places and things like that. She's had to go through a lot um, throughout this period. It's been very stressful for her, but she's held up very strongly. And um, I'll tell you what, she's a lot stronger than me. So. What, what do you credit your, your positive attitude to? Well, first and foremost, it's the Lord. You know, the Lord has blessed me with, um, you know, with, with being born again. And, uh, you know, my positive attitude comes from Him first and foremost. I just try to stay looking at Him. He keeps me strong. Uh, and that's just kind of how I am. I'm a very positive person. Um, I like having fun. I'm very goofy. If you ask anybody that knows me, I just like having a good time. Um, so, you know, it doesn't do you any good to stay, uh, to throw a pity party for yourself. You know, it doesn't get you anywhere. You're not going to heal any faster. Um, you know, there's always somebody that's got it worse than you somewhere. Um, so you just got to kind of keep the positive attitude in mind, and that's part of the recovery process. And so I just try to stay positive as much as I can. It's not always easy, but I do my best. I got somebody else jump in, y'all. Yeah. yeah, so look, I have one. Like, you can look at them. But okay. This, what happened to you? Um, how has this impacted your life? I mean, as far as everything. I mean, this is like a double it's, sword. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a life-changing experience. Um, there's no way to really expect this to happen to you. You know, I never would have thought, you know, that at 27 years old I'd be missing a leg, you know, and, um, and be struggling to get through day-to-day -day tasks. You know, everything is hard. You know, going to the bathroom is hard. Getting something to eat is hard. You know, um, just getting out of bed is hard. Getting into bed is hard. You know, everything is so much more difficult. You have to learn how to do things sitting down all the time trying to stand on a leg that's not completely healed yet it still hurts you know and um, just trying to learn how to do basic tasks completely different um, than you ever did them before um, and just trying to do things around the house and roll around the house and then get outside and get inside you know it takes a lot of effort and um, you know but you know I'm thankful that I'm here you know I'm alive you know and I'm very thankful for that and you know I could complain all I want about how bad it is, um, but you know, really, that's not going to do me any good, and um, I just got to keep looking forward. But it has definitely been something I never expected, and something that has been very difficult to get through. But I'm doing my best on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you have such a great attitude, um, and you've had so much community support. 
Um, can you talk about how special that's been, how important that's been in your recovery? Absolutely. I mean, there are not enough words for me to say thank you to this community. DeSoto County has been incredible. Uh, not just Soto County, there's been people from Memphis and from all over the country and even out of the country, you know, praying for me and um, and supporting us and the community is, you know, the fundraisers and the, the help with, with groceries and food and being there for her and my family while I was in the hospital. Um, I don't feel like I ever deserved it um, and I could not say enough words to say how much I'm thankful for living in DeSoto County, Mississippi and working for this department, which has been, I mean, the best department in the world having the best bosses in the world. I mean, everybody has been so supportive. It literally had me in tears in the hospital when I was just scrolling through Facebook and seeing the support that we were being given um, and the prayers and the, and the fundraisers and all the things people were doing. Um, cannot say enough words, say thank you for that. How, how surprising was that, that you, that, you know, the accident, the wreck that you had, the, you know, the problem that you had, and all of a sudden the, the community comes out and say, wow, you know? Uh, you know, it somewhat surprising and somewhat not. You know, the, there's a lot of negativity on the news these days about policing, um, and uh, it's just unfortunate that that's kind of the view that some people have about what we do. But uh, I'm thankful to live in a community that, that knows that we're out there trying to help people, and uh, they were able to show to us that they actually do care and they care about what we do and they support us. You know, I was out there trying to do my job, helping somebody, you know, doing what an officer is supposed to do. You know, first and foremost, we're public servants. And uh, that's what I was trying to do with SERVE. And uh, I'm very, very thankful to live in a community that um, was so supportive. Uh, it was surprising, I think, a little bit to see just how much support I got. I wasn't necessarily expecting that at all. Um, and uh, like I said, it had me in tears. It was very, it was a blessing, a huge blessing for all of us, so. What keeps you motivated since the incident happened to come back to work? Well, first motivation is this young lady right here. You know, I've got her and I've got a kid on the way and, you know, I want to be back for them. You know, I'm trying to take care of uh, my son and my wife and, and uh, that's my first motivation to get back. And then obviously I want to get back to work. I love this job. I love this department. I was doing what I love when I got hurt and, uh, you know, I want to get back to doing it. So, can't wait. I think we're good. What about, okay, rehab? You have to go to rehab. Oh, yes. Um, uh, I do have to, I have to go to rehab. Um, right now I go three days a week, but in the next two weeks it'll be starting to go to five days a week. Um, I have to go uh, work on everything, you know, getting, it's all about muscle strength and getting my legs back together, trying to get my upper body stronger again so I can do the tasks that I have to do right now without the use of my legs. Um, so rehab is hard, um, but they are awesome up there. They are a great group of therapists who have been very helpful to me um, and helped me get to where I'm at, so I'm very thankful for them. So. This may be a hard question to answer, but do you, do you anticipate getting back to full duty or are you just looking at modifying? My goal is to get back to full if I can. Um, you know, part of that's going to be my body, part of that's going to be doctors, you know, um, things like that. But obviously I would hope so. You know, like I said, I love this job. I want to get back on the streets and help people again. And I want to be back in that patrol car and out doing what I love. So that's, that's, the, that's the hope and the goal. Uh, and, uh, you know, good Lord willing, I'll be out there at some point. I've been with the department just, I uh, had been out of the academy for just over a year, so not very long, um, but I love them, they're awesome, so. Thanks, sir. Thank you all, I appreciate it. See, I wish the Redbirds were still, they're on, uh, they're, I think they're just streaming now, aren't they? I think so. Uh, yeah, they're not on radio. Yeah, I know, which kind of is, I was kind of a bummer. I used to like listening to them on the radio. Yeah. They're, uh, what is their name? They have a new one. July. Oh, they have a new one. July. They have a new one. July. They have a new one because the old guy, Selby. Yeah, Selby, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, he retired. <laughs> Did he really? He was here. So I like that. Yeah, they have a new one. He was super nice. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. That's an awesome guy. July 3rd, right? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. 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 Thank you.